Only on 7 News, nearly 20 years after a jury convicts and sentences Nathan Dunlap to death, some members of the jury now having a change of heart. And another juror telling 7 News, nothing has changed two decades later. I can sleep very well. Uh, the day after, um, I slept well, and I still sleep well. New tonight, 7 News reporter Mark Stewart just wrapping up that interview and joins us live. Mark? And Mike, three jurors filed these affidavits expressing concern about Nathan Dunlap's mental health. Here at the DA's office, prosecutors maintain Dunlap knew exactly what he was doing. Tonight, we talked one on one with another juror who agrees with the district attorney Dunlap should be executed. You sat on this jury nearly 20 years ago. Do you still feel comfortable with your decision? I do. I feel very strong about it. At his request, we're concealing the identity of this man, juror number 39. He and his peers convicted and sentenced Nathan Dunlap to death for the murders of four people at this Aurora Chuck E. Cheese during the 1993 robbery. We all had to have to live with what we, we, we chose, and uh, all of us there, uh, of the 12, chose death for this particular person. Yet all of these years later, Dunlap's defense team is raising new questions. Three jurors have filed paperwork showing concern about their decision after learning Dunlap was diagnosed as being bipolar after the trial. Can you understand where they are coming from? No, I can't because he put, he, he ruined the lives of a lot of people. He was mentally stable to do what he did and he should pay for it. To your colleagues, who have reservations, what, what do you say to them? I feel they're just talking, just to be talking. Dunlap's execution scheduled for the week of August 18th. We are still waiting to see if the governor will intervene. Live in Centennial tonight, Mark Stewart, 7 News.